My name is Carla Stansifer. I'm the curator of Japanese art at the Murakami Museum and Japanese Gardens. Today we'll be talking about hard bodies, contemporary Japanese lacquer sculpture. This exhibit is actually on loan from the Minneapolis Institute of Art, and we feature 16 contemporary artists. Uh, we have at least one piece from each of the artists in the show, and they have a wide variety, as you can see, of textures, styles, and techniques that they use. Lacquer is an extremely versatile material. You can do so much with it in the right hands of someone who's skilled and understands the material. I think the most important thing I want people to know is that these artists, they come from a very long lineage, a very long tradition. And all of the artists are very aware of that, they honor that tradition, but yet they're doing completely new and innovative things. Each of the pieces, they are coated with lacquer, and I should say that lacquer can coat just about anything. Paper, bone, wood, metal, shark skin, it can be coated on anything and it will protect that substance, but it has to go through a curing process. It's not a drying process where you'd be removing humidity. They actually put it into a container where you add heat and you add moisture and then it cures, the catalyst, the chemistry takes over and it creates this wonderfully hardened surface that protects it from heat, electromagnetic rays, bacteria, uh, all kinds of things. This is a really fun piece. This is a piece by the artist Someya Satoshi. Uh, he's one of the younger artists in the show and he had a smaller version of this bowl and the collector, uh, Willard Clark, saw it and as it happens, Mr. Clark was a cattleman by trade and so he saw the small bowl, he fell in love with it and he said, can you make another one for me and make it bigger? So he did and uh, it's a really lively, fun piece. It has a lot of pictorial imagery and I think a lot of visitors like to come and, and look at this piece. Everyone sees something a little bit different. I love the variety. He's, uh, the artist is really blending imagery from east and west. We have some things uh, here. A good example is the moo that you see in English. And up above it says mo, which is what the cow says in Japanese. So uh, again, right there, he's showing that he's, he's trying to reach out to the audience on both sides. This piece is by an artist, Aoki Chie, and she's a really great provocative artist. She's up and coming, and in this piece, she's chosen to go back to the eighth century for some of her inspiration. During the Nara period in Japan, there was a long, well-established tradition of creating portraits out of lacquer of famous monks and teachers of the Buddhist tradition. And also the decoration, you look at this moiré pattern that she has, uh, it looks very modern and contemporary, but that also goes back to the 8th century. I think a really good example of the environmental aspects of these pieces comes from the work by Fujita Toshiaki. And what he does is he creates these pieces by adding the unrefined lacquer. He adds one layer a day for two years. So he essentially grows these pieces much like a mollusk or tree bark. And it's interesting to me when we look at lacquer as a material. Lacquer was usurped by the introduction of plastics, and now with a lot of what's going on environmentally, we need to steer away from plastics. We may be coming back to lacquer as a more utilitarian product. This piece is by Kurimoto Natsuki. One of the things I love about this piece, it's called Dual Sun, and the use of shell inlay or raden, as it's called in Japanese, uh, is highlighted here. And you can see the different shades of shell as you go through the piece. Uh, and the different colors tell you where the shell comes from. This piece is called Undercurrents 2009-2. It's by an artist called Matsushima Sakurako, one of the female artists represented in the show. And uh, this piece, I love it. She does a lot of wearable art. She started off in metal, and as her pieces got larger, they were a little more unwieldy, so she shifted to lacquer, which is really light, deceptively light. Uh, if you were to pick these pieces up, you would see, you'd be surprised how light they are. I also just love the beauty of these pieces. They're so wonderful, uh, they're so innovative, and yet they're linked to the tradition, thousands of years of tradition that the artists are very aware of and honoring, but they're doing it in new and unique ways. <laughs>